Okay, let me turn off the light. Let you take a look. You see the interference fringes? Now we're looking at the exact same effect, but with a totally different starting point. Now before I used a two razor blades, so the laser was passing solely through the center of the slit, roughly about half a millimeter wide. Now we get the same effect, the same interference fringes, except we have a totally different starting point. So right now, let me go over here. Don't you see that we're hitting the centermost object? Right there, proof. That is a needle. So we don't have a slit now. We don't have two slits, but we have a needle. Now I'm going to show you either later tonight or tomorrow the secret nature of light. Of course, I've out, uh, spelled that out uh, in my book, Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism, that light is a coaxial circuit. The notion that there's a wave particle duality is nonsense. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous to think that uh, there are such things as photon particles. That's absurd. Light is a coaxial circuit. I'm also going to tell you the reason why. When you actually space the razor blades closer together, you get more light passing through than when you space them further apart. Why, that is counterintuitive. No, it's incredibly logical. Everything in the universe is electrical by nature. Explaining it will be very simple. I'll let you ponder on that until I make the next video and tell you why. That's like saying a fat person can pass through a skinny door easier than he can through a really wide door. So it doesn't make any sense uh, to... Uh, to uh, physical geometry, but for metageometry, i.e. field geometry, where you have uh, two different vectors, uh, magnetism and dielectric, then you understand the coaxial nature of light, then you will understand it. So we actually have on the very uh, far uh, to the bottom of the screen here, we actually have a, uh, a very thick rod. In the center we have the needle that the laser is going around right now. And over here we have at the very top, we have a, a set of razor blades. But we get the same result no matter what, except when we uh, actually increase, uh, decrease, excuse me, the distance between the razor blades. We get a lot more light. We get the same results as this. This is the passing uh, around the needle. It's the same interference. Now, there's no slit on this. All right, there's not even a single slit, not a double slit, not a single slit. You will get the exact same output doing this as you would with a double slit experiment. The double slit experiment is accurate observations, you know, experimentation, thought processes. People don't understand field theory. It works differently. You have to understand space and counter space, and I'll tell you why you get more light when you have a narrower slit. Check out the next video for that, okay?